Hello everyone. Today I have an interesting video for you guys. Uh, here we have a turtle. Uh, to be exact, a mata mata. These turtles are probably the most interesting looking turtles. Their head looks like a leaf and their body also camouflages very well. Um, because they live in Amazon and they rely on camouflage for hunting. These turtles basically act, stay motionless and just eat the uh, fish coming into their way. Now uh, the view is a bit bad from this angle but Um, I will also shoot from above after a little while. Um, again, Matamata eats fish and other lake creatures. Look, he's all interested in this fish coming into his way, but he cannot catch that one. That one is way too fast. But anyway, um, I'm gonna feed him with some dead fish. He is very well uh, in eating frozen and thawed food, including mice even. So let me demonstrate with some fish. As you guys can see, Matamatas can act very fast when it's feeding time. They just wait until the uh, prey is in close proximity and then they suck uh, it through using a uh, vacuum created by their lungs and they don't have teeth so they swallow the prey whole like a snake and then they will just expel the water that they have swallowed. Um, these animals they actually need very clean water and um, good filtration they also live in quite warm water 28 degrees or so is good for them and they need low pH to mimic their um, Amazon River environment they do not require too much space but as they get big, of course, you need to increase the size of the uh, terrarium that they are in because um, they get quite big. And as you can see, they have this little tiny appendage on their nose which they use to break the water surface and breathe. As all turtles they have lungs so they have to breathe outside of the water but these guys don't bask um, like for example red ear sliders and some other turtles they spend almost all of their time in water uh, mostly in shallow water but they can also stay in deep water let's give him another piece of fish Yeah, the problem with feeding these guys is that they have they are quite messy and the pieces of fish if the fish is not alive and healthy um, get in everywhere so again that's another reason why uh, very good filtration is essential for these guys and I have an external aquarium feeder, uh, filter that uh, is doing the job but even that is sometimes ineffective so I need to do regular cleaning etc um, 
Let's give him another piece. A lot of people give their matamatas goldfish, live goldfish. Um, I don't have, you know, any problem with giving this guy live fish. In fact, he probably has eaten at least 10 or so live fish in this aquarium. But goldfish is problematic for two reasons. First, uh, they have an enzyme in their body that, which breaks down vitamin A. And um, basically, this starves the uh, animal that you feed goldfish for vitamin A after a while and the animal eventually dies from malnutrition. Also, goldfish fins get erect when they are being swallowed and um, cause wounds on the neck of the turtle, which uh, gets quite easily infected in an aquatic environment, environment where you know there's a lot of bacteria present and um, the animals die from infection as well. I provide some other fish uh, that he likes and eats uh, and the remnants that you see in the aquarium are the fish that um, he cannot catch because they are too fast but he can catch that fish so let's give another piece okay this is gonna be a big one a full fish Oh, that's messy. That's really messy. This is the reason why I also place the filter very close to the animal. Because every feeding, as you can see, produces a lot of mess. But most of it gets filtered out right away. I may also need to get some more fast fish to eat all this garbage on the sides a common problem in keeping matamatas is uh, not getting the correct pH when you keep these guys in high pH which is standard European water that's close to almost you know, eight because of all the minerals in it. Uh, these guys shed continuously without stopping, and at the end, um, they get infected and die as well. So, you need to get the water pH down. Uh, that's why I actually have some moss inside the terrarium, and uh, to get to produce some tannins, I have some leaves that have been broken down slowly. Again, he wants to get a breed breeder. So yeah, if you, you there, are, you know, ways to lower the pH, but um, every water change is a hassle. So I need, I find some um, bottled water with neutral pH at least. All right, I'll give him another piece, and then I will fill fill him from above to get you guys some better view of the animal. Yeah, from the pigs now, you can maybe understand that these animals are indeed pigs when it comes to eating. Um, they are quite opportunistic. 
but as you can see all these little thingies coming from the space this animal is perfectly built up for camouflage uh, and it's very hard to see I would assume in a you know dark colored Amazon River with all the leaves and everything so it's quite interesting alright I'll give him one final piece and then I will film him from the above for you guys Oh shit. Alright, that didn't work out well, I think. And in fact, made the water more dirty, so I will stop trying to feed him. He had enough. And sorry, and I'll just kill him from above. As you guys can see, the animal has very interesting shape and body. And again, it's built perfectly for camouflage. And it's coming up again for some air, so we can see it. Alright, um, I hope you guys like this. Again, Matamasa from Amazons captive bred in Europe and he's doing fine here in my house. Alright, bye.